Hello friends, after PM Modi in a recent program spoke in favor of the implementation of a uniform civil code and said that there cannot be two laws in one country, the discussion around the uniform civil code has caught speed. The law commission has also asked for suggestions from the public. This is not the first time in India that UCC is being discussed. Let us first see what Rajya Sabha member and one of the more topmost lawyers in India, senior advocate Kapil Sibyl has to say about the uniform civil code. I don't know what the proposal is. Can you tell me? What do you mean by uniform civil code? What is to be uniform? Are all customs to be uniform? As you know that under Article 13 of the Constitution, custom is law. So will customs be uniform? Will you remove the HUF? HUF applies only to Hindus. HUF, in fact, uh, uh, there's a distinction between self-acquired property and ancestral property. So are you going to remove HUF? There are billions of people, Hindus in particular, who do business as HUF, who hold agricultural land as HUF. What do you do about Goa? The Portuguese in Goa, the laws in Goa. A Goan, for example, if he's above 30 and doesn't have a child, can marry again. You're going to abolish that. What do you do about the Northeast? We don't have a proposal. So what is this bahas about? That no, no, it is done for a political purpose. कि भाई 2024 तो आ रहा है, ठीक है ना? अब कुछ ना कुछ तो करना है, नौ साल तो बाकी जो कब्रिस्तान और 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 शमशान घाट तो खत्म हो गया, बाकी लव जिहाद वो सब तो हो गया, अब कुछ ना कुछ तो मुद्दा ढूंढना है ना? तो ग्राम मंदिर बनेगा इन जनवरी, ठीक है? And then uniform civil court, this debate will go on, people will take sides, and then there will be polarization, there will be electoral benefit. That's the only purpose. Otherwise, you would for nine years, you should have had a full Discussion. Is UCC a problem only for the Muslims? Will India remain to be India without its plurality? Does Indian society really need something like the UCC? Is UCC not in direct conflict with Article 25 of the Constitution which guarantees religious freedom? Let's not waste more time and start finding answers. Before moving ahead, please subscribe to the Upfront and press the bell icon to get notification of all our updates. I'm Nihal Mohammed and you're watching the upfront. To be very true, I don't remember most of the rhymes I have learned in my KG classes, but there is one line that I still remember. I still remember drawing on that theme. As I grew up, I wrote essays and delivered speeches on that topic. The theme that I am talking about is unity in diversity. The whole of India is designed and standing strong today because of this slogan that our founding fathers were able to frame. If we look at Europe, it couldn't stand together and fought for years only due to one difference they had between themselves, that is language. Apart from that, everything was almost similar. But when we look back at India, we see that there are hundreds hundreds of diversities and almost nothing similar between people who live just 100 kilometers apart. But in spite of this, our beautiful nation has always been united and this has been possible because of the rights given by our constitution and also the non-interference of the state into the religious matters of its citizens unless some other fundamental right was being breached. But now it looks like the BJP is not very happy with this unity and wants to bring drifts in the social fabric of the nation. If the BJP brings about the UCC, this is what is going to happen because a uniform civil code means imposing the law of the majority on the minority. When I say majority and minority more than i mean hindus and muslims i mean the upper caste hindus and the lower caste hindus the brahmins and the dalits the hindi mainland and the northeast and south india in a country like india where there are so many diversities it is impossible to have a uniform civil code which makes even 10 percent of the population happy leave aside 100 percent the ones in power will try to impose their laws on the rest of the population and the law that a few want will become the law of the all. Such developments can lead to situations which are unprecedented in history. 
polygamy is one issue that is raised by those who are in favor of UCC. They say the Muslims marry more than one, whereas others are allowed only one wife. And this violates the rights of Muslim women. They accuse the Muslim men as if all Muslims are in a polygynous relationship. Let us see some facts. The National Family Health Survey says that only 1.4% of married Indian women surveyed in 2019-2021 said their husbands had another wife or wives. Just so that you know, the unemployment percentage is far high in India and that could have been a matter of discussion. If UCC is being brought to protect the Muslim women from polygamy, then I think the government should first catch hold of those who are not Muslims and are in a polygynous relationship in spite of that being illegal. The numbers say so. Compared to the national average of 1.4%, the rate of polygamy was 2.4 among STs, 1.5 among SCs, 1.3 among OBCs and 1.2 among others. In Muslims, the percentage was only 1.9% that is less than the STs and others are also not far behind. There were also four states where the proportion of Hindu women who admitted to living in a polygynous relationship was higher than that of Muslim women. In Telangana, this was 3% in the case of Hindu women as against 2.1% in the case of Muslim women. In Chhattisgarh, 2% versus 1.6%, Tamil Nadu 2% versus 1.7%, Andhra Pradesh 1.9% versus 1.8% were the other three states that reported a similar pattern. So before bringing up a law to protect Muslim daughters in the name of UCC, first enforce the laws which are already in force and stop illegal polygynous relationships among the Hindus. Polygamy is not a Muslim issue at all and bringing UCC won't stop it. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Mizoram Assembly on February 14th unanimously adopted an official resolution opposing any move to implement the Uniform Civil Code in the country. The Home Minister of the State, Mr. Lal Chamliana, while moving the resolution said that the UCC, if enacted, would disintegrate the country as it was an attempt to terminate the religious or social practices, customary laws, cultures and traditions of the religious minorities including the Mizos. Now, so that you don't conclude that this is yet another jihadi move, let me set it clear that the Muslim population in Mizoram is only 1.3%. The UCC is a threat to the whole nation and not only to the Muslims. Yes, I do agree that UCC is mentioned under Article 44 of the Constitution and is a directive principle of state policy and hence the state is obligated to implement it. But the ground reality and even the reason behind the framers of the Constitution to keep it there is because it is not yet the time to have a UCC. UCC should not be something that is being imposed. Instead, it should be the result of a demand of the large majority of the people and not vote bank politics of the ruling dispensation. Considering a major opposition from the tribals as well as the lower castes among Hindus and also the Muslims, such a move should not be made. This can make them more insecure and vulnerable to get attracted towards fundamentalist and extremist ideologies. We are already witnessing a civil war-like situation in Manipur due to difference between two tribal communities. If the government goes ahead, the chances that such a situation might arise across the nation cannot be put away. Now, this was about diversity, practical difficulties, too soon, too sensitive, etc. Now, the main issue. We are a secular nation and our preamble declares this. Even without the preamble, Article 25 of the Constitution gives the freedom to practice their religion to everyone. Many communities, particularly minority communities, perceive uniform civil code as an encroachment on their rights to religious freedom. They fear that a common code will neglect their traditions and impose rules which will be mainly dictated and influenced by the majority religious communities. The truth is that this fear is totally just keeping in mind the track record of the current government. The rights of religious minorities getting affected is a matter of surety as of now if UCC is brought in. Another question to ask, will the UCC apply here also? 
there is an institution called the hindu undivided family the hindu sikhs jains and buddhists can form this huf has its own pan and files a separate tax return a separate joint hindu family business is created since it has an entity separate from its members deductions under section 80 and other exemptions can be claimed by the hindu undivided family in its income tax return will this law be changed or will muslims christians jews and others be given its benefit is ucc going to deal with this i don't think so which would mean the ucc is not uniform civil court after all now the main question why ucc the main intent behind ucc is to ensure equality among all especially gender equality and caste equality this was the reason why article 44 was added into the constitution but if the current government leaders of which believe in manusmriti bring about a code it would be inspired from manusmriti a book which looks upon women and lower castes and people from other faiths if such an ucc is introduced the whole intent of the law will be defeated in conclusion all i would say is the country is not yet ready for ucc and is also not willing for your ucc the rights of those whom you claim to protect are themselves opposing this move ucc was added with the intent of bringing equality in the society let's not kill that intent for petty political gains let me end with a quote of baba saheb ambedkar however good a constitution may be if those who are implementing it are not good it will prove to be bad however bad a constitution may be if those implementing it are good it will prove to be good that's it for today if you like the content we provide please subscribe to the upfront and press the bell icon to get notification of all our updates please share our videos and educate others thank you